My friends, welcome back. We are playing you Forest Cologne. Uh, we're building ships, guys. We're building ships, and and we're going to be building uh, a few more. We we got fifty two here. We also want to look out for uh, buildings that we could possibly do, like taxation. Although that is not doing as much, but uh, the trading in Groningen would be very nice. Also, we want to get a fortress up here in Ostenbrook. However. A fortress or a military advisor that is something that we need to consider um, looking at our financial income it isn't that good we're still rooting out a tiny bit of corruption and we're getting some war ups we're actually making 0 0.30 what the hell is this advisory cost negative global trade power negative five the burgers wouldn't like me the nobles we lose military tradition. Yeah, well, we'll have to suck this up. The nobles will do we don't like this. Um, yeah, well, we can't do anything for them. We could give them more territory. But for now, we'll just have to deal with the fact that this is, this is it. Ah, that sucks. It truly sucks. Granting generalship would have been nice though. Yeah, it doesn't really. I don't need it right now. The general that we have, he is not good. He one for uh, seven, so it's actually eight. It's not bad. He's better than my previous general, but then again, there are generals that are way better. Uh, we're still waiting here. We're getting close to like having cannons. Cannons, good. I like cannons, but cannons are expensive. Yes, they are. We're at our force limit as well. So we could always add a cannon. Not that a cannon can do a lot. So once this happens, we can actually look at what kind of profits would we get from doing the trade. Also, we were looking here at yearly prestige. Considering it dies out relatively fast, I would like to grow it. Development cost is not too interesting. Morale of armies, though. Uh, is there a morale option in here? What is my morale? Is there anything over here that that shows you the morale? Morale of navies. So this is the morale of armies. Then morale of army does help with my army traditions, and we are losing army traditions. Damn. If I train, if I start drilling, actually the army traditions then would not be bad. Plus 10%. But does it really do anything? Free politician? Politics. Okay. Not sure what this does. Does this give a. No, it's not a diplomat. Policies. One free policy. And I think we'll go to a monarchy so we can actually do the royal marriages. Strengthen the religious? No. The Republic could also be very nice. We'll gain a additional diplomat. Increases the number of states by 5. National focus cooldown negative 5. Local unrest negative 50. National tax modifier, manpower modifier, sailor modifier. I'm actually leaning towards a republic. You know, a republic would be nice. The Republic of Cologne. I've actually seen a video where he turned into a monarchy and then a republic. So maybe we'll just uh, go for republic. And then this is still a thing, the prestige. Let's go for the prestige. We'll do it. Uh, at least we'll not lose as much and it will help our tax. So this we'll have to wait for. This guy is still annoying. I would like this to be broken away. But then again, well, what can we do about it, huh? Not that much. Uh, Friesland. It's now from Utrecht. And they are part of the HRE. We should check what territory is not part of the HRE. There could be some states that are not part of the HRE, like East Frisia over here. 
Yeah, most of them are in the HRE. And Tier is also an elector. Right? Yeah, they are an elector. So, they have a negative thousand to vote on us. And they're actually very close at voting for Galra. Oh, damn. Lose prestige or admin. I'll go for the admin now. I know some people would say that's the dumbest thing you could have done. And you should have taken the prestige hit. Because you will go to war with Galra. Hopefully anytime soon before we bore ourselves out. France uh, is at peace. And we know this is just... Oil and, and, and fire, guys. Oil and fire. Look at this guy here. Savoy. Damn, Savoy. You're doing wonderful. Nice. You're actually expanding the HRE into Italy, I guess. Yeah, you are. We are expanding the HRE into Italy. Damn. Okay, look at this. The, the HRE is, all, is already here. And um, we're slowly going towards the Papal States, I guess. This is all Florence is in the HRE. Are we serious here? Yeah, look at that. We have our electors, which is we. And the HRE and, and, and territory that's disputed. But we're growing into Italy. The HRE is actually going to be quite uh, max. We have a maximum of monarch points. I hate it. Qu quite a bit. So, let's see. We're still five. I don't want to take that just like that. Um, can we actually do some development? For now, yes. I think that would be good. And we'll develop some of these territories. Just like that. Something like this would be enough. Can we actually get rid of the development over here? Yeah, no edict. There we go. That would uh, generate us some more money. How about here? Did I lose it over here as well? Yes, I did. So, we have slowly developed. Um, not enough though. Not enough. I would like to get to 10. That would be good. We have a ship. We have a ship. Awesome. We have our very first boat. Uh, if you wish, like, could protect trade. So, wow, the English Channel would do a profit of 87. 87. <laughs> Sweet. 87 is amazing. And it will cost us 0.7. That is just, that's pure profits. Uh, and we do want to increase this. There we go. What kind of sailors would it cost us? Let's see. Next tick. One sailor. So we're up to three ships shortly. And we're gaining more money. We're making 9.5. I like it. Yeah, the next idea group is going to be um, probably military. Innovativeness is starting to die out. Why? Because our neighbor is having... A better technology than we do. Now, negative 5 here. Let's get those out of the way. I'll wait with the admin. But we are so far ahead on military. If we get more military, I'm actually considering maybe flipping cavalry for artillery. Um, it will be a bit more expensive, but the artillery would be very, very nice. Eventually, I want to get at least two cavalry. And my cannons could be 50%, I believe. Doesn't really tell. That's 50. I think like 50%. So that would be 3 cannons. How much would I have to increase for getting... Just a bit more. So you're 8, 7 and you are 9, I think. Uh, let's wait. We don't need to do this. We're still 9 on 9. Yeah, look at that. It's a tiny bit more expensive, but then... 
Hey. That don't mind. That is not a problem. This is almost loyal again. At 40 is it, it is loyal. Uh, we're 130% ahead of time. And there we go. We can actually take this. Workshops. Negative 10. Uh, let's take a look if something's changed. Uh, workshops. Ah, that's not too much. It is um, a good plus button. It's not that uh, great. What's this? Lose prestige. But we could also gain a yearly prestige by one. But we would lose diplo, admin and money. So this is for... Wow, for actually long, a long as time. And we would start getting a plus in prestige. I'm actually considering this is well worth it. There we go. We are making prestige now. Uh, yeah, but we are behind now. We're low on our power projection. Who do we have a truce with? Pomeria, Moonster. Pomeria is almost out, but they are currently already at war. By the looks of it, they are... Definitely having a bit of a thing. You are at war with the Ottomans. Someone called you it. Holy shit. Hungary is owned by the Ottomans. Um, Brandenburg is sending in troops. Norway, Hungary. Oh, the Ottomans is a problem, lads. It seriously is. But look at Lithuania. He's expanding like crazy into Saxony. He would be a very, very capable ally. Same religion. He would be very nice. Lithuania as an ally instead of um, Hesse. Interesting. Are you at war? No, you're not. So you didn't join in this war. Eventually you will have to fight the Ottomans. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Naval strength, distance between borders, army strength... Not of the same religious group is the biggest thing. We have a national decision available. Um, national tax modifier. Missionary strength. And we'll gain a reform desire. Admin technology of 6. Let's take this. What was this again? Missionary strength but institution spread. We could now take this since... Well, institution spread. I don't care about it as much. Nothing we can do over here. So, religion is going to be quite high. Institution spread is taking a bit of a hit. 0 0.63. Um, I'm hoping to get our second boat soon. And they are almost loyal. They're almost loyal towards us. Just, I want to see these guys at war. They are just frightening me. And we're building up with Burgundy now. Hopefully that will do us uh, some good. Yeah, may maybe eventually get ourselves an Admiral. Are we at our cap yet in terms of force limit? We do want to start making a few cannons. Maybe get infantry, one infantry out and change it with a cannon. Uh, wait, what? Wow, you... Yeah, you are being... You, you, you got your ass handed to you, babe. By them? Is it because a lot of his allies... Like, Switzerland is most likely in here. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that could tear you a new one. As Saxony is getting... I don't know if Saxony is going to be a valid person to cast a vote at. Saxony, Saxony, Saxony. We could just keep it with Austria. The chances of me getting elected by anyone at the moment is, is slim to none. But we're very early on in the game. Uh, I think we just got our second ship. The truce with Lithuania has, enter, has stopped. Hmm... Anything we can do here. Brandenburg. I don't like your allies. I really don't like your allies. 
Hmm. Yeah, we need to, to, to handle cleaves. Uh, otherwise, Munster. Uh, but we have a truce with him. But we could probably just go to war with others as well. He's my ally. He's my ally. That only leaves like Utrecht. And he's allied with Brittany and East Frisia. Maybe show strength. I know Utrecht is quite annoying and to handle them alone. I think Utrecht has a lot of troops. That's actually the wrong one. Oh, let me see Utrecht. Utrecht 8. 8 as well. And 6. So that would outnumber us. Hmm. We'll just have to wait. We have to wait and we keep building ships. Uh, trade is increasing. Spores of Wars is slowly dying out. Fleet maintenance 0, 010. Where can I find the profits out of my ships? State maintenance? Yeah, we knew that was going to cost us. Uh, once the uh, autonomy here dies, then that would be great. Uh, soon we can actually turn the autonomy down here. We'll no longer steer trade towards Cologne, so we're going to be losing money even more. Where are my ships? Yeah, 1-6. Just make sure you do. Just make sure you, you get me that additional money. Because we're losing it somewhere. Trade 1.62. Uh, Austin might declare war upon us. Uh, we have... Bremen has lost its uh, rivalry on us. It's uh, Actually, I was kind of hoping that France would do a lot better... Against like England or, or Burgundy. What's this? Nine pageant uh, regiments uh, rise up in uh, in Cologne. Loses stability or lose 10 devotion. I kind of don't want to deal with nine. Oh damn. I'll lose the devotion. Um, and let's go for... Um, no, 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 not that one. War taxes, transfer sub, we don't have his object. So justified wars. And we'll see what we'll take next. I just wish that someone would come to my aid. We got a lot of diplomats doing a lot of stuff. We need more monies. We need more monies. Let's die this autonomy down. Go here and suppress those blooming rebels. Although it's going to take them 21 years to do anything. Uh, we should get more money now. Negative 16, which is not bad. 21 years. I don't care about that. We don't need to suppress the rebels then. How long till this? Ah, still 17. <sighs> um, this is going down by 0 0.125. So that's 1.25 in 10 months. So 120... No, that's 1.25, 1.50 a year. About a year. Yeah, I don't care about that unrest. How am I in them doing? Yes. So we have, we're gaining six, we're using three. Again with this, construction cost, construction time. Stop giving me that back, I'll, I'll not remove it. 
Truce will expire in five years with Moonstone. And we have a call to arms. We have a call to arms against Bomithia, Brunswick, and Lithuania. Um, they will join. That is 18. Who else? Kind of want to honor the call. Let's take a look here. Diplomatic ideas. Um, yeah, we need to deal with them. And get these guys out and then deal with uh, Bomithia. We could have used a... Um... Oh, damn it. We're going to get into the negative, don't we? Yeah. Damn it. I need to honor the call. Uh, but we're going to wait for a uh, small moment. Until the 13th of November. So we have some time. Let's just wait. Let's move over here so we can get into that territory right away. This is a lot though. That we'll have to deal with. Did they just lost, lose all of their trips? Let's just see how this will go. Uh, six, seven. Damn it. This will lose me a lot of, um, of allies. And the Teutonic Order, which is over there. It's, it's th this guy. This guy is a problem. Guaranteeing the independence of Bavaria. And I think um, this, this doesn't look well for them. It's two over there. Uh, with this present, it would even be worse. Um, I'm very... I'm starting to, to, to think that this would be a very bad idea. So there's 10... 17. They, we have the troops. I think we actually have the troops. We're going to be waiting until our morale ticks up. And we can immediately smash this guy. But we are going to be accepting the terms, I guess. Hopefully the AI does not tear me a new one. Um, let us end the episode up here. Next time, guys, I'm going to be... <sighs> I'm probably going to honor the call. I'll, I'll have a good think about this in between episodes, guys. I'll have a good think about this. Bomithia itself... Is, uh, is quite horrible. 23. So the AI needs to be right on top of its game. And we need to get their allies out in order for us to actually do it. But this could be a lot of favors. And at least some wars again. Uh, well, anyways, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.